In this tutorial, we're going to continue working with forms, and we're going to see what else we can do with user input. I'm going to delete the data that we just worked with. I'm going to leave the form here, and I'm also going to leave the input submit. So it should look like this. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is create a group of checkboxes. Checkboxes can be used to select multiple choices inside of our form. So to do this, we are going to click checkbox group in the input tab. And we're going to give it a name. And what this does is it gives each checkbox a name. So for this example, let's do language and we're gonna we're gonna create some checkboxes that allows a user to click and say which languages they speak so underneath uh, underneath the name we have checkboxes and inside the checkboxes we have label and value and the label is what is going to show up beside the checkbox so in the first one let's say English and the value is the actual checked value that's going to be passed to the action or to the server once we submit it. And what that means is if something is checked, if something has a checkbox inside of it, then it is going to say whenever it's received by the handler file, it's going to say English if, it, if English is checked and let's give this one a label of Spanish and so if this one is checked it's going to say Spanish and I would think that there are some people that can speak more than just English and Spanish so let's click this plus right here and add another language in let's say German alright and I'm going to add in one more Let's call that one French. All right, now we have created four checkboxes English, Spanish, German, and French. And we can use these arrows right here to click on one of our labels or one of our values. You can click either one and you can press up and down to move it in order of the way you want it to display once you say OK. Um, and right here it says layout using line breaks or a table. And basically it'll it'll either put break tags in between your checkboxes or it'll create a table for you that will create individual rows for each checkbox and label. Um, so for this one we're just going to use the default which is line breaks. We're going to say OK. So let's inspect this a little bit and see what we just generated. Here we see that it has wrapped all of our checkboxes in a paragraph tag. And right here is our first input. You see it's of type checkbox and it has the name language which each one have. And it also has the value Spanish which is what would be submitted if that checkbox is checked. And it also has an ID. And in the last tutorial, we did a we did the labels a little bit differently. And there there are two methods that you can use to create a label. And this is the second method. What you do is you create your label, or you create your input first, whichever one you want to create. I'm going to show you how to do it by creating the label first. You create a label, and you call it Spanish. and then inside of that label you put your input just like that alright so now that we have all of our checkboxes in place I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it in Firefox so now you can see we can check each one of these we can uncheck and that is how you create a checkbox inside Dreamweaver 
Um, these are very useful when people are selecting multiple different things. Um, it makes it a lot easier instead of typing it in. Uh, you can just check it yes or no. And then they can submit it to our sample handler. And that's how you create checkboxes inside of Dreamweaver. In the next tutorial, I'll be going over radio buttons and radio groups and uh, the differences that are in between checkboxes and radio button and groups. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.